Hey everybody, this is the third video in a Twitter conversation I've elected to monetize, and some of my decisions work really well. Um, at any rate, it's like this. There's a guy named Amano Gonzalez I've mentioned. Again, I don't know who he is, don't know what he looks like, don't know what he does for a living. He just tweets a lot on Oakland, kind of all of a sudden. But uh, at any rate, that's neither here nor there. What is important is what the conversation is, because people should understand, because it gets to the heart of why we don't have things in Oakland. Right. Um, and basically, and by the way, good Friday to everybody. Happy Memorial Day weekend. At any rate, uh, the, this all started because a particular player that sounded about, I believe, who was in San Francisco staying at a hotel and had to be scratched from the lineup A's game because he couldn't make it from the hotel to the Coliseum in a timely fashion. Um, so I was saying, well, hey, I couldn't stay in Oakland. And this opens the door to a conversation regarding a long-standing problem in Oakland that that really impacted our ability to get the 2005 Super Bowl in 2000, which is the, the only Super Bowl that we bid for and the Super Bowl bid effort that I ran. I created the Oakland Alameda County Sports Commission from scratch and the Super Bowl 39 bidding committee within it from scratch at a time when our then city attorney, Jane Williams, told me, as well as Dina McLean, who was the executive director for the Oakland Alameda County Coliseum Joint Powers Authority, that it would take me two years to get federal government approval for such a organization. I got it in four months, but I digress. Oakland is not determined to build its economy in a way that follows the tenets of city building. So we get a situation we've had since 2000 where we build a lot of market rate housing because Jerry Brown thought it was a good idea. Okay. And we don't get anything around it saying, Hey, we should have X number of hotels, Y number of open space, square footage and so on. Okay. A, not a great situation. If we had done it in a city building fashion, we would have had more than the 3,000 hotel rooms now, what, almost 5,000 we have now, which is paltry, considering the 16,000, now I believe 20,000 hotel rooms that San Francisco has. That impacts where a baseball organization is going to put its players. Baseball organizations on the professional level, not semi-pro, Football organizations on a professional level, not semi-pro. Basketball organizations on a professional level, not semi-pro, are going to put up their players in hotels they have contractual relationships with. They have specifications for their players, which add up to those rooms being top quality. Oakland has had, for a long time, a shortage of top quality hotel rooms. I particularly ex experienced this personally during the Super Bowl because the NFL, let's take the NFL requirements at the time, which haven't changed much, but they call for 24,000 top quality hotel rooms within one hour's drive of the stadium for the Super Bowl. And of those 24,000, 17,500 have to be set aside for the NFL family. All top quality. The good news is that in the San Francisco Bay Area at that time, when I was building, we had 55,000, now I believe 75,000 top quality hotel rooms. But very few in Oakland. San Francisco at the time that I was working had 13,000 uh, top quality hotel rooms. That was 2,000. And the NFL had requirements for the media, their media partners, CBS, NBC, and ABC. Each one of them called for hotel room, hotels, not just rooms, but hotels, of 600 rooms each. Oakland was not able to fill that requirement then, say, for one hotel, the Marriott, and that was it. And it's still that situation today. Keep in mind, that was 2000, this is 2001, 2021, excuse me, 2021, all right? 
That's how bad our situation is. And what's worse, to digress from when no one debriefed me to say, hey, Zinni, what did you learn about Oakland's economic development that could be applied to improving it in the future from your work to bring the Super Bowl here? Because that is an economic development project. If you want to find out how weak your city is, form a bid for a Super Bowl. You'll find out where your strengths and weaknesses are real quick. Real quick. But hey, that's Oakland's collective ignorance. And I'm saying like that because I'm freaking tired. This has gone on for decades. So I don't blame Major League Baseball. I don't blame Dave, although Dave has made a ton of mistakes himself. And I don't blame Bob Manfred, although he's contributed to those mistakes. That's another story. But basically, they're right. We don't have our act together. And we consistently act like it. It's not that we don't, you know, have experience. We do. But the people who've done it, the, the others who are in there now, they don't call on them. Or me. They think that they've got it. Like, for example, the uh, mayor, CAO, Ed Riskin, who's a friend, put out this letter that he sent to Susan Marinishi uh, that, I, that uh, I requested and they gave me. They reported the revenue from Howard Terminal. It's like they just calculated it. That revenue should have been calculated months ago. Okay, how about this? A year ago. The county should have been debriefed a long time ago. The moment you come up with that idea, you should have that revenue figured out and those negotiations already started so that you don't get to this point. That's shameful stuff. <sighs> anyway, that was a big digression. The simple fact of the matter is that sports teams have these requirements, you have to build hotels to meet them. If you want to change it, you know my suggestion or motto? Become a hotel developer. Do it to figure out how hard it is. Do this stuff. Because we have too many people in Oakland who sit around saying, oh, businesses are this and businesses are that, and they've never done a business. You know? Do it. All you gotta do is do it. And because if you do it, then you'll find out how hard it is. You'll find out where regulations need to be changed. And you'll figure out how Oakland itself needs to improve. But the simple fact of the matter is you can't just make a sports team, not even legally make them stay in a hotel because you say they're the host that the A's are the host team. Well, for the purpose of visiting, being the visiting team, there's no requirement that the the host team, as you put it, has to be responsible for, for their accommodations and where they stay. Maybe it should be there, but you need to take that up with the commissioner of baseball. Okay? But you know the easy way out? Just simply build a better stock of hotels. The easiest way out is the one that Oakland doesn't take, is to build. Oh, sure, we build for you know new housing, which harms other people. But we don't city build. City building means building the appropriate services and land uses to, to meet a population or a market's needs across the board. Hospitals, hotels, eateries, schools libraries, playgrounds, you get the idea. Shameful. All right, subscribe to Zenny62 and bookmark oaklandnewsnow.com.